Now we have to find the center of mass of a uniform straight thin rod. Suppose this is the xy x, coordinate system in which a thin rod is placed of length L. Say this is the length L. And this rod has the mass m and length L. So mass density is m by L. This is the mass density. Because mass is distributed on the road along the length, so it is a continuous mass distribution. For that, we use differential integral method to find center of mass. For that purpose, we take an elementary length of length, say, dx at the distance x from the origin. So mass of this elementary length is dm. This is equal to mass density that is m by l and we have to multiply this mass density by the length of the elementary part. This is dx. So this is the mass of the elementary part of the road. And x can vary from 0 that is the, at the origin to x equal to l. This is the limit of integration. By formula of the center of mass, x coordinate of the center of mass is integral x dm by integral dm. y of center of mass is integral y dm by integral dm and z of center of mass is integral of z dm by integral dm. So first we find x center of mass. It is equal to integral. This elementary mass, this is the elementary length dx which has the mass dm. So its distance from the origin is x. So we put here x into and elementary masses we have calculated m by l into dx where limits are from x equal to 0 to l divided by and dm integral dm this is the mass of the road which we have already taken that m is the mass of road and mass of road is integral dm so we can replace directly here with capital m and constant term can be taken out of the integral so it will be m by l integral x equal to 0 to l x dx divided by m. This m and m will cancel out. So remaining is 1 by l. Integral 0 to l x dx. Now integral of x using the formula that integral of x raised to the power n dx it is equal to x raised to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Here if we put the power 1 then it will be x square by 2. So it will be 1 by l x square by 2 integral from x equal to 0 to l we put the limit it will be l square by 2 first upper limit then minus and then lower limit it is 0 so it will give 1 by l into l square by 2 1 l will cancel out this will give x coordinate of the center of mass as l by 2 similarly we can find y center of mass it is integral y d m by integral dm because mass is distributed along the x-axis no mass is along the y-axis. So each and for every elementary mass dm, the y distance from the origin is 0. Therefore, it will give y center of mass 0. Similarly, z center of mass is also 0. Therefore, center of mass of the straight wire or road of length L is L by 2, 0, 0. Next, we have to find the center of mass of non-uniform straight road. Suppose the mass density of this non-uniform road is k into x by m raised to the power n, where x is the distance from the origin, and n is the having the value 0 or any positive number. So again, we take this coordinate system of x, y, z. This is x, this is y, and z is in perpendicular to the plane and upward direction. This is origin and in this a rod is taken of length say L. Because mass is not given here for this non-uniform straight road that for this that's why we have to find the mass of the road also. L is the length and mass density is k into x by m raised to the power n. 
center of mass we write x center of mass equal to integral x dm by integral dm it is equal to integral let's take an elementary length of the road say of length dx and it is at the distance x from the origin therefore we write x this is the distance of the elementary length then dm this is the mass of the elementary length and this mass will be mass density which is given k into x by m raised to the power n and then length of the this is the linear mass density and then the length of the elementary part that is dx it is divided by mass of the road for mass of the road we have taken integration of elementary mass and elementary mass is mass density that is k into x by m raised to the power n and then length of the elementary part that is dx and we have to integrate it from x equal to 0 to x equal to l so integration from 0 to l now solving these integrals you will have first we take constant terms out of integral that is k into 1 by m raised to the power n integral 0 to l this x and this is x raised to the power n so combinedly we can write this is x raised to the power n plus 1 dx divided by here is also k is constant and 1 by m raised to the power n it is also constant and remaining is 0 to l x and dx this k and k cancelled and 1 by m n will also get cancelled so ultimately remaining terms are 0 to l x raised to the power n plus 1 dx by 0 to l x raised to the power n dx now integrating with the formula we get this is x raised to the power n plus 2 by n plus 2 with limits 0 to l 4x divided by integration of x raised to the power n will be x raised to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 and limits are 0 to l and substituting the limits we will have 1 by n plus 2 it will come in denominator and numerator will have l raised to the power n plus 2 and for this denominator terms we will have l raised to the power n plus 1 and this denominator term will come in the upper numerator and it will be n plus 1 and dividing the common term we will have n plus 1 by n plus 2 into l therefore x center of mass x coordinate of the center of mass is n plus 1 by n plus 2 l because this road is placed along the x axis so there is no mass along y or z axis therefore y center of mass that is equal to integral y dm by integral dm and for every elementary mass this y is 0 so it will give y coordinate of center of mass 0 similarly z center of mass will also integral z dm by integral dm for this also this z is 0 for each elementary mass therefore y z center of mass will also 0 so we can find we have found that center of mass of the of this non uniform road is n plus 1 by n plus 2 l in comma 0 comma 0 this is the center of mass of non uniform road whose density is given as k into x by m raised to the power n next we will take center of mass of a semi circular wire